folks, Tom Amoroso here, Columbus Sabre Academy. Welcome back to our LED Sabering Basics series. So this is a series of instructional videos that we go through uh, the basics and the foundation ones that make up what we teach here in our LED Sabering class. Now let's just turn the lights over on. Um, what we're going to talk about today is footwork, specifically the gathering step and a passing step. So the pulling steps in footwork, and I'll talk more about that in a few minutes. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to at least talk about the guard a little bit and how to stand, and we'll talk about moving. I want to keep these pretty short, as I've said before, so we're going to try to keep this pretty concise. So start with your feet about shoulder width apart, nice and comfortable. Two half steps forward, turn that back foot out. So my feet are pretty much perpendicular. I've got a nice stance. Uh, my hips aren't too bladed. I'm not too sideways. Right? I'm going to do this sideways in a second so you can see both ways. And then from, uh, I'll, we'll go through the saber stance in a second. So again, sideways. Here, two half steps forward, turn out, boom. Right, I'm really comfortable. My weight's evenly distributed, uh, front and back foot. I'm not too far forward. I'm not too far back. It gives me the flexibility to move as I need to. As far as sword position, we want to make sure we have our saber in our hands in the right way that we can actually practice our guard as well as the, the footwork. So middle guard basic standard guard for us. It's our first entry level, very defensive position to be in. We're going to go through that now. Take your arm, hold it out in front of you about shoulder height, maybe a little bit about sternum height for your hand, just like you're shaking hands with someone. Put your saber in your hand. Grab the second with your bottom hand. Right? Very simple. My tip is pointed out toward my opponent's eyes. Um, it gives me a nice, even good starting point to uh, do our footwork. So we're going to do some footwork. Uh, Right foot forward advance. We're going to switch to left side forward. As drills go, this is a great drill. I'm a huge footwork fan. So um, practice this as much as you can. The better footwork you have, the better fencer you become. Full stop. Right? So advancing footwork, gathering step. My front foot steps first. My back foot pulls into place. I'm not pushing myself. I'm not jumping. If I jump, I can't do anything until I land. I want to be able to have flexibility and be able to move any direction I want to go. So my front foot's going to step. Pull my back foot in. So step. Retreating, same thing. My back foot steps first. Pull myself back into place. I know I'm behind the picture here. So I'm stepping, pulling myself with my quad, with my thighs, back into position. Step, pull, step, pull. So I'm going to do that a few more times, and I'm going to do that forward. I'll exaggerate. I really do. When you see me fight, you'll actually see my foot go up sometimes. It's kind of a tell. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, my foot will go up and actually do roll that heel, right? So I want to kind of roll my heel down into the movement, which is why a lot of fencing shoes have that curved heel. It allows you to get that movement into the position. Same thing, stepping back. So let's do that forward. So I'm here. We'll start back a little bit so we can see a few steps. Shoulder width apart. Two steps forward. Twist that back foot out. Sabers out in front toward my opponent. Step. What you want to be careful is you don't step and close that back foot, right? You keep a nice, solid base. Stepping back, pulling. Step. Left foot forward, same thing. Two steps forward. Out to the right. You can see my saber's now on the inside of my body. Cool. I'm always closing the middle line. We'll talk more about that in another video, no matter what side I'm on. Left foot forward, advance, pull in. I'll do these sideways, probably easier. So advance, retreat. Good. One thing I'll note, as humans, we walk forward in bigger strides than we walk backwards. So if I'm stepping forward in my advance, it's actually going to be a bigger step than if I'm naturally stepping back. So I sometimes have to over-exaggerate my retreating step to get that distance from my opponent. Because it's all about measure. It's all about timing. And we have other videos on that you can go through when you have the time. So again, gathering step, stepping forward, retreating, switch sides, left foot forward, advance, advance, retreat, retreat. Want a good drill? 10 advances, 10 retreats. Double advance, double retreat. We'll show those here. So it's just two steps before you stop. So my blades out, double advance, double advance, double retreat, Double retreat. Good. Switch sides. Left foot advance. Double advance. Retreat. Double retreat. Pretty straightforward. 
We'll do more footwork in the next couple of videos. I want to keep these nice and short. Practice that. The better you get at your footwork, the better you're going to be when you're fencing against your opponent. That's how you control measure. That's how you control distance. So until next time, thank you very much, and uh, we'll talk again soon.